Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. Just when I think I am done collecting Masters of the Universe Origins, along comes Orgo. And he's been on my Amazon.com wish list for a very long time, and I happened to find him at my local Walmart. So I'm going to bust him open, and we'll see what he's all about. So I never had an original Orgo when I was growing up. So this is really nice to have. Uh, it's a great looking figure. And let's get into articulation. It gets a little bit of a look down. Quite a nice look back. It gets a lateral lift in the arms. A turnable shoulder. single jointed elbow and a wrist flex but that's not all he's got this wonderful display base that you can pop him onto and you can bend it or move it I should say not bend it Turn it all the way around, whatever you prefer. I love this translucent purple sparkly thing. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to this little guy, but he sure is a great aspect to the collection. Up next from Hasbro and Marvel Legends, we have Moon Knight from the Disney Plus series. And this is really exciting for me because, for one, I really enjoyed the show. And it's a superhero character that has dissociative identity disorder, which so do I. So it's kind of nice to have this figure for my collection, and uh, I'm going to open him up and we'll take a look. First of all, I'm going to say that the detailing on this costume is exquisite. It is just astounding. This is probably going to be one of my most favorite MCU Marvel Legends ever. Uh, the only thing is I wish he would have come with uh, an alternate head of Oscar Isaac uh, because the Poe Dameron figure that I got for Star Wars uh, didn't, the likeness didn't do Oscar Isaac any justice by any means. And I think Hasbro would have done better with a likeness to Oscar Isaac for a Marvel Legends line. But I digress. So let's go ahead and get into articulation. He gets a little bit of a look down. A little bit of a look back. Side to side motion in the head. A little bit of a pivot. Great lateral lift in the arms, where we're going to get a shoulder turn, a bicep turn, multifunctional double jointed elbows. It's a little bit difficult. And then we get a wrist flex that's up and down instead of uh, back and forth. There's a little bit of a crunch down. Pretty decent crunch back. There's a turn in the torso, not the waist. 
Let her lift in the leg is so-so. We get a thigh turn. Multifunctional double jointed knees. No boot turn, but there's a flex in the foot and the rocking side to side motion. This is a fantastic figure. I've got a friend who is a big Moon Knight fan, so I hope that he has this in his collection. If not, I might have to buy another one and send it to him. Because this figure is astounding. So let's take a look at his accessories. He comes with a set of clenched fists. And he comes with uh, a set of two moon discs, which can be placed together and snapped into place. That way, if you wanted to display both of them or just one, it's perfectly fine. That will do it for this episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like and share button. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're inclined to help the channel grow, you can do so by following the links in the description where you can buy me a coffee or visit my Amazon.com wish list. Once again, thank you all for coming along. I really appreciate it. Love and lights to you 